Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts on two products from U Beauty, the Resurfacing Compound and the Super Smart Hydrator. I'm gonna wear my dressing gown because it's really cold in here and I don't wanna put the heating on because I get very, very, very hot, very hot at night. Um, so I'm gonna sit in my dressing gown. Okay, so these are two products. You've got the Resurfacing Compound and the Super Smart Hydrator. One does everything and the other hydrates your skin within an inch of its life, creating a more beautiful visage. So let's make a start and get through these products because I've been testing them for a while. So here we are. So brighten, resurface, renew, tighten, equalize and defend with one single product. That's the claim from U Beauty. And of course, we're gonna be starting with the resurfacing compound. So according to the resurfacing compound, U Beauty. It's a clean, high-performance uh, formula which is designed to optimize your daily beauty regime without sacrificing results. Sounds good. Smoother, brighter, and revitalized-looking skin begins to emerge with only three to six days of use. Your pores will look diminished. Your skin appears to be brighten, brighter. Dark spots, fine lines, and wrinkles visibly fade. Obviously. Now it's interesting because. All products kind of claim that they're going to do the most amazing things to our skin. When was the last time you saw a product that said it wasn't going to do very much at all, right? So there's always a lot of hyperbole with products. Now this formula uses alpha hydroxy acids, retinol, peptides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, E, and a blend of antioxidants that are all in a patented formula. It's also vegan and cruelty free and comes in chocolate cake formula. I'm kidding. Now, U Beauty states that 70% of the subjects who tested this saw less wrinkles and imperfections after only 30 days of use. Of course they did. Now, if you have a look at the before and after pictures on the website, you can actually see some pretty amazing results with this product. And that was only after 30 days of use. And I've no reason to disbelieve this at all. But it would be nice if you could see results after 60 days or 90 days or 100 days. You know, considering that this product has been around for a little bit, it would be kind of nice to see um, more long term results, if that makes sense, because everything is very short term. We always see very short term results. But if it's so good in the short term, surely that would mean it's amazing in the long term. If you remember the kind of electrical device, New Face, I mean, they've used the same pictures for years and years and years, despite the fact that the device itself has been around for, oh my God, so long, right? And if the device is so amazing, then why not update the pictures? Surely you would have more test models, right? And once again, with New Face, that you're talking about sort of day zero to day 60. Well, what happens at day 90, day 400? You know, that's what I want to see is long term. If the product has been around for a while, let's see some long term results. Anywho, so first the bad, the price. This is a very expensive product. Like Bada, it's very, very expensive. 50 mils, 85 pounds, 30 mils, 138 and 50 mils at 215 pounds. It's also a highly irritating product. At least it was for me for the first week or so. When I started to use this, I got a breakout on my forehead and on the top of my cheekbones. And that is an area that I don't break out on very, well, I very rarely break out there at all. And what I do is almost always an irritation breakout. However, I decided to persevere with this product and the irritation breakout did go away. So it could have just been the retinal uglies or a whole other host of things going on, but it did go away, which is a good thing. One thing to point out is that I found personally that this product does pill. It didn't sit well under sunscreen. Now this product can be used once or twice daily. It's advertised as twice daily, but I kind of think that that's a little bit too much for most skin types because I think it's just quite harsh, I think, for, for twice daily. Now also, I'm not a massive fan of the packaging. To me, the packaging feels really, really generic. It feels very cheap. It feels very plasticky. And when you consider the price and you compare it to Bada, that feels very heavy and weighty and expensive. But of course, packaging isn't everything and the proof is in the pudding. So let's kind of talk about the good things about this product and then we'll get on with the kind of not so good things. 
So it really is quite effective at clearing the skin and making it appear more beautiful and smooth. Despite that kind of minor irritation that I kind of suffered in the beginning, um, my skin did feel and look quite smooth, really smooth, I guess, actually. Also, it didn't tingle too much either, and I, I was using it for sort of five weeks, and while my skin did look better, I mean, it absolutely did look better. I wasn't blown away, but then I never expect to be really, really blown away by products. Barter cream, I did think was extraordinary. The I preferred the Victoria Beckham Primer, same ingredient, but and that kind of did blow me away, but this product, it just, my skin just looked good. And I started to use this product after I finished with the Victoria Beckham one, because these were filmed at different intervals. So in general, it did make a really nice difference to my skin. It did feel smoother. And while it wasn't a huge improvement, it was a really nice improvement. Obviously, I use things like Dermatica, which is uh, Retin-A prescription strength. So those things do also make a difference and of course, come into play. Now with one bottle of the large bottle, 215 pounds, if you use it once daily, you'll get about four months of use from this size. Twice daily use of the 15 mils will give you two weeks worth of product, or once a day will give you a month. It is an expensive product, it really, really is. So if you were to use this product daily, once daily, it'll cost about 600 pounds a year. But this product also does contain everything apparently that you need, HA, retinol, peptides, blah, blah, blah. It has it all. So you don't really need to go out and buy other um, skincare ingredients, right? So it's entirely up to you. You kind of get that. I think you kind of get to the point where it's like, is it worth the money, right? Because could I go out and buy the other ingredients, HA, retinol, peptides, all the others, cheaper? Almost certainly, especially if you're looking at brands like The Ordinary or The Inky List or Good Molecules, you could absolutely get those things cheaper. It just depends on whether it's in your budget and whether you like the convenience of having it all rolled into one. Generally speaking, I was very fond of this product. It's too expensive for me to continue to use, but I'm glad I used it. I used it all up. And would I use it again if it were free? Yeah, absolutely, but it isn't and I can't afford it, not really. Okay, so let's move on to the Smart Hydrator. You ready for some absolute shocking nonsense? Now this is powered by patent pending Hydrosiren capsule, whatever that means. And I have no idea what that means. But apparently it delivers hyaluronic acid deeper into the skin than any other hyaluronic acid molecule. Ooh, but there's more. It gets better. So the Smart Hydrator will actually hydrate your skin for up to 48 hours, though I didn't see any studies to back that claim up, but I'm sure there is. I probably just missed it, right? So Hydrosiren capsule, there's that word again, neutralizes free radicals as they arise on the skin. It's a free radical killer. It's a killer. So you get visible skin repair and that is expedited. So your skin is expedited to visibly repair the skin, kind of like for the FedEx, I suppose, for the skin, right? Now, while peptides give calming and the peptides give a calming kind of soothing effect to the skin, they also apparently give your skin this radiant, gorgeous, childlike glow. That's my words, not theirs. And I should think so too at the price. So speaking of price, 50 mils is 65 pounds and 50 mils is 165 pounds. Once again, the packaging is the same as the resurfacing compound, i.e. cheap and nasty. But generally speaking, it's a really, really nice moisturizer. I don't think it's worth the cost compared to other moisturizers out there in a much lower price bracket, but it's a really, really nice moisturizer. If I had to kind of pick between the two, I would pick the resurfacing compound, absolutely. But the moisturizer is nice. There was no irritation. It did take down some redness in my skin. My skin's been quite red lately, um, which I don't quite know why, because it's been behaving really, really well, really, really well. Maybe it's because I stopped using the Victoria Beckham stuff. I don't know. But it did take down some of the redness and it did make my skin feel super nice, but it didn't leave me going oh, because it just, it just didn't. But I think it's a really nice product, but I think it's very, very expensive at that price. And I guess to summarize, it's a good product. They're both great products. The, actually that's a lie. Resurfacing Compound is a great product. The Smart Hydrator is a good product. Combined, they make greatly good product. <laughs> But it's, it's nice, you know, the product is nice. 
I would love to know if you've tried it and what your thoughts are and experiences with these products because I'd really love to know because my experience has been quite nice. And I'd like to know what yours are, whether it's good or bad. It's always nice to kind of get that kind of um, feedback because it just makes for interesting reading for me and I think for other people who may or may not be on the fence about wanting to purchase a product that kind of does everything all in one where it exfoliates, deals with the anti-aging side with the retinol, it's got peptides and antioxidants and hyaluronic acids up to your bloody buggery forehead. You know what I mean. Anyway, let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are on this. I like it. I wish it were free, but it ain't, so I can't buy it again. But it was nice. I'm glad I used it. I kind of really am. Yeah, I am. But it's too expensive for me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.